We now travel to Dunedin for what might surely be one of the most important games in many of these footballers' lives. Southern United versus Canterbury United Pride. The winner takes all. It's Loy manages to win that and has a long range effort. It's awkward bounce for Simmers and it's gone in and the Pride take the lead in bizarre circumstances. Southern now looking to attack down the left. Chelsea Whitaker on the ball. Maisie Runner finds Hayer and back through to Whitaker, gets a shot in and she gets an equaliser for Southern United. One all. Chelsea Whitaker finishing off a wonderful move and what a composed finish. But they look for these intercepts like this and that's when they look to pounce and his lot. Did she beat the offside trap? She gets a shot in, finds the net. Seems that the flag stayed down and Southern have come from behind and go 2-1 up. Morton finds Diaz. Oh, and sends it through looking for Whitaker and she gets onto it and she pokes it in. Southern 3-1 up after being a goal down early. Morrison who scored Southern United's opening goal of the season against the Pride. The ball comes in and Hislop just about gets onto it. Foyle couldn't get to it. Hislop looks up. Oh, and it's gone in. It's an own goal by Lara Wall. And Southern 4-1 up. Great battles going on out there. And Whitaker, how good has she been today? Looks up. Finds Hislop. And there's a clever ball and gets through to Diaz. Looks up, gets a shot in, and a big save from Foyle. Longo, always busy. And will they get a sniff here? Kate Loy has a crack. It's blocked. But Guilford gets a shot in and scores for the Pride. Just on the half time break. And yeah, just a, a shout out to Chelsea's parents, Andrew and Debbie, watching from Rarotonga. They will have loved to have seen Chelsea uh, knock in a couple of great goals in Southern here. With Amy Hislop, with a great turn, gets through, goes down, and a penalty is awarded by Lindsay Robinson. Only a minute or so into the second half. But big chance here for Southern to restore their three-goal lead. Whitaker drills it. Sends foil the wrong way. Great composure. Southern, 5-2 up. I told you there were going to be more goals. Looks like it will be Smith. No, Hislop instead. Drills it in with her left foot. Foyle saves. Oh, Diaz just about got to the rebound. Well, nice wee set move there. Southern United leading 5-2 over the pride. Meanwhile... Capital still three goals up over Central. As it's a tricky one here, and Longo manages to poke it in. There's another awkward one for Simmers to deal with, and <laughs> Longo was on hand to deflect it in. Fires it forward, hopefully. And it's easily enough dealt with, although Simmers just about gets herself into trouble, and oh, well, that was a chance there. Now has Anderson up alongside her, and what's she going to do? Maybe just head for the corner. That's what she does. The full-time whistle is blown by Lindsay Robinson, and Southern United win the game 5-3 and take out the New Zealand Football National League South Central Series. So super proud of the girls, you know, it was a team effort today. We all did put in 100% and we got the result, and we are stoked, so happy. Oh, it's pretty pretty cool from playing from when I was 14 and, and things weren't going so good back then, um, football-wise. Um, to win this is, is um, credit to the girls and all the hard work we've put in through this um, season so far. So it's awesome. Yeah, really incredible. Yeah, I'm gutted, um, but well done to Southern. They were the better team today. Um, we had a good second half. I thought we really tried to get it back, but it, it was too late. In the first half, we conceded about three goals within 10 minutes, so kudos to Southern.
Uh, we were shocked, really, to tell you the truth, but very proud, very proud of the girls and the performance they put in today. I mean, it's special to win it, but to win it with the way they played is extra special. Congratulations to Southern United, the proud winners of the 2021 South Central Series. And well done also to Canterbury United Pride's fabulous Annalie Longo, who was awarded the Golden Boot with seven goals this season and was also elected the most valuable player of the women's competition. Great work, Annalie.